to deal with the uh, Twin Towers. Now you may say, well what has this wide load got to do with the Twin Towers? Well it's a piece of reality. That's what we keep pushing for. Reality against a deceiver called Judy Woods or Wood Woody Woodpecker we call her that most callous of people you see in order to get her machine that she intimates to such an extent that it actually happened She would have to have the machine transported to site. First of all, the machine itself, the ray gun, must have been stolen. How would you steal a ray gun? Hmm? The only persons who've got this high-powered weapon on trial is the US government. What facility did the, the terrorists break into to steal it, put it on the back of a low loader and take it through New York and to find an empty building and to get it up onto that empty building on the roof or inside and nobody notice equally. Oh, her disciples will say, well, she, it's only a theory, a theory. No, she's not saying it's a theory. You are trying to defend her. It's not a theory. She's saying it's fact. That the buildings were taken down and she uses the word dustification. She uses the fact that the buildings created naturally dust and she says this is justification the buildings have been turned into dust and she's got her disciples this callous woman there are real people out there that have died been traumatised have been maimed for life and she comes out on the back of that. And she never declares against the US government. No, no. Oh no, she doesn't. A fantasist and a charlatan. A fantasist and a charlatan. And of course in this world of lies and deceit, she has her following. She has her following. When you show things like this, reality, that in order to get a machine that would be very large, you would have to have the thing escorted through New York. And then again, transferred to an empty building, either to be craned up, onto the roof how are you going to get it in the building and of course you've got to get it on top of the building because of the size and so there's a man or woman on top of the building is there with a ray gun stolen 
nobody notices hmm? this being delivered and craned up on the day and plugged into the mains <laughs> hey, might as well go that far plug it into the mains day and a, a, a ray come out of it Do you know, people will believe any fantastic story just as long as it's entertaining. Now then, she would also have to have the thing craned down to the low loader again and transported to where? Hmm? Where? Equally, the US government has never declared that one of its ray guns has gone missing. Oh, a terrorist took it. Right. <clears throat> yeah, Andy Pandy is real. British politician can tell the truth. Now then, Woody has made her money and continues to make her money and to get her fame on the back of a wicked act of George Bush's government and you can bet your bottom dollar Tony Blair's government Parliament as a whole shook hands with that. We're very fortunate that we were not the ones there to suffer. We can sit back distanced from it. And some take that for an opportunity like Wood right, Judy Wood to make money and fame of it now then answer this Judy Wood answer this this is the aftermath justification or what? Hmm? where's justification here? This comes from Ground Zero Recovery months after 9-11. They're still trying to put it out. Where is dustification? Where is it turned to dust? Please tell me. This peg in, it's, it's awful, isn't it? It's awful. This is what your Democrats do to you.
Huh? Dustification. It's all dust loop. Oh, Judy Woods has said it. She's the most detestable woman ever. Look at it. Look at it. Woods. And your disciples. Look at it. New York Fire Department. Having a break. More dustification. Hmm? It's a massive area because it's a mass two massive buildings. Massive. Massive buildings. Dustification and that. Still smoldering. No, I see no dustification, do you? This is the evidence against Judy Woods as continuing evidence against that brat. You have to be really, really, really wicked in order to use this to make money and fame. Totally wicked.
Dustification. <laughs> Do you know? Can we just pause that there a second? The government of the day tried to hide everything. One of the things was that it felt like a pancake, all the structures and gave way all the floors one one after another after another over a hundred floors now if it pancaked all the way down which it did not in the sense that they said okay then why are these still standing as it were these would have been crushed as it was of course, it was exploded as the firemen testify, and because of that, large amounts of the building went out as well as it came down. Firemen testified as much as the building managers testified that it was detonated. Judy Woods calls them liars. Total liars. Fabricators. Because as soon as you say that to her. Oh no, no, no. It was justification. So you're calling them liars. I'm not calling them liars. Don't play with words, Judy. You're calling them liars. You're saying what they said is a lie. Because what you are saying, you say, is the truth. That it was, these buildings were hit by a ray gun that you had transported, or somebody had transported in your mind. It was taken to a building and fired at these buildings. Hey? Eh? Next it'll be the Jetsons flying around. No, it was all testified, and it's been testified. <laughs> Equally, Judy. That the vehicles that were incinerated were actually incinerated by the bomb disposal people coming on site. That was witnessed to. Equally, as the planes flew into the towers, it was witnessed by members of the public, a large amount of members of the public, to have been the United States Air Force planes. Oh, but we get these foddy, uh, these persons come along and say, no, oh, no, no planes, no planes went into the towers. Were you there on the day? Oh, well, I've seen this and I've, I've got this and it's photoshopped and it's this and this and this. Were you uh, there on the day? I don't care what you say. Were you there on the day? Were you the eyewitness? No, you weren't. Members of the public stated there were military planes. Members of the public have no inclination to say otherwise. Why should they say it was military planes? Why? You tell me that. Because that's what they saw. If they were covering for the government, they'd say, oh yes, they were passenger planes. But all the people that testified to those planes said, each and every one of them, there were military jets that hit, well, military planes that hit those buildings. So, you matey boy that says no planes hit those buildings you're wrong and it doesn't matter what you concoct you're wrong i believe the eyewitnesses and if you were one of the eyewitnesses you would say exactly the same and if somebody came up to you and said no you're lying because that's what you're saying they're doing that no planes hit that it's all photoshopped and this, this and this. Yes, 
There are certain aspects, probably, that have been altered. But there were actual planes, physical planes, hit those towers. Members of the public saw them. And of course we saw it on the day with one tower. That was not Photoshop, that was a real plane. In real time. Set up by an organisation to film an actual plane going into the building. Behind that fireman. You don't tell me that it was just a coincidence that on the one day, the right day, at the right time, in the right area, that a film crew are doing a piece of a fireman. And it just so happens a plane comes roaring by. The fireman turns around to look into the sky because it's an unusual thing to hear. And then you get the footage following where the plane hits the tower. That's no coincidence. That's no coincidence. And it's no coincidence that the film crew said to a woman, with other 